Skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here, and welcome back to another reacting video. So as you guys know, we are not reacting to Harley Baby's videos anymore, because right now she hasn't filmed anything that I can react to yet. So we are going to be reacting to a cute, crazy video called Spoilers, Doctor Who Talk number 901. This was for Season 9, Episode 1. So if you guys are Whovians, and maybe you haven't seen Season 9, Episode 1, which I don't know why you wouldn't have, but just in case, these are spoilers ahead and that will that uh, crazy and I will be talking about um, so if you guys don't know how my reacting videos work I watch a video pause it when I have something to say and at the end we give it an overall rating so let's see how this goes you ready for the Doctor Who premiere watch the magician's apprentice and between commercials we're gonna be filming what we think of the episode so if you have not watched it don't watch this yeah don't wow I didn't realize we had actually done this like not live but like as we were watching it that's actually pretty trippy, holy crap. Who had this idea? This was a good idea. Watch this and so you've seen the first episode because spoilers and... I love how we're dressed too. She's wearing my TARDIS dress. I'm wearing my Matt Smith dress. We both have Weeping Angel necklaces on. She's wearing my Doctor Who TARDIS hat and I have my Matt Smith sonic screwdriver. And yeah. Spoilers. Spoilers! Um, we'll <laughs> we'll be doing this until... Oh my god, that was a River Song reference. December with our videos because, well, even if we're not together, you'll see us separately and we'll combine the videos. Okay, but even if we're not together, <coughs> you'll see us separately doing our thing, watching the episode. This is the only spoilers episode we have of Doctor Who. Just a heads up. And we'll be recording ourselves during commercials, like always. And who knows, if we have time on weekends when we don't do Doctor Who, we'll also do other stuff. Um, shows, and we'll be saying what we think, what's going on. Damn, my editing skills were so bad at this point. But then again, iMovie is like really hard to work with, especially back then when we didn't really know what we were doing. On maybe some predictions or whatever. Moffat, what you're doing already is not okay. <laughs> oh my god, we literally just watched the first commercial and mind blown already. Like, okay. there's already so much going on. Yeah, so in the beginning, there's this. Uh, war going on, I guess. It looks like just another war on another planet. And there's this kid. And I have a really big heart for kids. So I'm just like, no, no, how about kid not die? Yeah! And then we figure out his name. His name is Davros. And if, like, for those of you who do not remember who Davros is, he that's... created the Daleks. There you go. So I'll be honest, in re-watching this, I did not realize, like, all these connections in Doctor Who. Like, I haven't really watched it since Capaldi joined with Clara and I'll be honest I really do not I didn't like Capaldi so I kind of just stopped watching in fact I remember the last episode I watched Clara took the TARDIS on her own or something like that but I truthfully don't remember anything else I haven't watched any of the new doctor I know she's a female but I just kind of gave up after a while so not only did the doctor <coughs> the doctor remember he looked at the kid oops <laughs> he looked at the kid and he was premature sonic ejaculation. <laughs> he was like, fuck no, but he still gave him his sonic. So now Davros is older and he's still and he's dying and he still has the sonic. Now here's the other thing. They Davros sent a messenger to get the doctor and he was checking everyone. Eventually he goes to a planet where the doctor is, but of course the doctor's hiding. They're covering for him. And the message is, I wrote it down. Davros knows, Davros remembers, he must face Davros, the doctor must face Davros one last time. And not only that, but Davros mentioned that some of his friends are in deep shit. So creepy. So, that's all we got right now. Alright, we'll be back with more in a minute. Hey, Missy, you're so fun! You oh my god. <laughs> I'm not ready for how cringy this looks. <laughs> You blow my mind. Hey, Missy. <laughs> so Missy's back. Yay! I'm actually kind of happy about that. Yeah, she uh, stopped the planes. Yeah, midair. They're frozen like in frozen time. in time. Clara's still teaching. I thought that was cute. Yeah, but it was so funny. It's like she got to the window. And she's just staring out the window, saying how like an author was a really good kisser. And, and then all she sudden, just got done telling her students to put their phones away. And then she turns around and she says, I want everyone to turn on their phones. Go to Twitter. Hashtag the planes have stopped. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. So you think Missy's maybe trying to convey a message to the doctor? I'm like really looking forward to when we actually end up filming on my iPad and not my phone. But I mean, 
you know. Doctor? I don't know, maybe. She's trying to get his attention is what I think. Yeah, that's probably it. She wants units come and talk to her with a whole bunch of- By the way, did I hear Clara? Because- Oh, this might be Matt's- Yeah, I think this is Matt Smith's season with Clara, so that would make sense. Snipers. Because apparently that's how they'll feel safe enough talking to her. Yeah. Okay, more in a bit. Moffat, what are you doing? Oh my god. Ugh. Well, first of all, they actually got snipers. <laughs> <laughs> for Missy, that's funny. That was great. Ugh. But she murdered, like, what, th three of them? Two, two of them. them. Clara them. stopped her before she did the third one. Yeah. So that Missy... That sounded sexual. <laughs> Bye. So <laughs> Missy was controlling the planes. Shocker. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we figured out why. It's funny, in watching this and not being into Doctor Who anymore, my brain when I'm hearing these names are... Like, what? Who? <laughs> I only recognize Clara. <laughs> So no one can find the doctor right now. Again, shocker. He sent his will, will. quote unquote. That's not what Missy called it, but it's, it's like a confession, a contract. It was this little, little circle thing, and it was, had Gallifrey on it. Yeah, and I guess I remember that was the Doctor Who language. See, I'm not totally out of the loop. Not only that, but like the only reason I understood the whole thing about the Daleks is because we actually did a good job explaining what the beginning of this episode was uh it was it's supposed to be given to the doctor's the, closest friend which missy thinks that she is and guaranteed she probably isn't and so it won't open until he actually dies but the fact that it was sent to her means that he's in danger but here's another thing <laughs> so the plane started back up yay but the way that a Time Lord would die is it's by meditation. meditation. So the Doctor's meditation, the prequel, was kind of a foreshadowing thing. I don't know. I hope he doesn't actually die. That would <laughs> suck, especially because it's the first episode of the season, which is probably not going to die because first But still, the thing the is, I feel like that <coughs> seven-minute episode was not, like, a prequel. It was something that we aren't able to see in this episode due to how it's filmed or how it was created and so with that we got a little glimpse of what he meant by his big battle that that guy couldn't help him with which is Davros. Davros. He's gonna go fight Davros. So I, we think that he's gonna go fight Davros. We don't know for sure yet. We'll let you know if we're right or wrong later on. I really like this. We're actually doing a really good job explaining the whole thing of it. I think what I might start doing with Harley Baby is going to go see movies once we start our channel back up again, once everything's back to normal, and maybe doing, like, reviews for different types of movies. That might actually be a lot of fun. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, like, crazy take over this one, so Holy have fun. shit! I have, like, so much to say right now. Okay, so the scene right after the commercial starts with pretty much the Doctor shredding it up awesomely on an electric guitar in medieval times, standing on a tank that he got for his fish online okay but it was a not a fish tank it was a war tank but anyway <laughs> so and then there's this like what did you write here <laughs> awkward moment when you get a lady boner for an old guy <laughs> i'm writing notes for us for this thing and he was pretty hot on that electric guitar <laughs> okay anyway so anyway <laughs> he was just going on and on and on he just like i think this might have been capaldi's first season maybe I have no idea which doctor this is. If I said awkward moment you get a boner for an old guy, it might actually end up being Capaldi. Oh yeah, I helped you guys dig a well, and in reality, in the prequel, he made them dig, like, 30 wells. 12 <laughs> wells in 12 <laughs> days. So anyway, when the, the doctor realizes that Clara and Missy are there because they teleported there, they found his location and they teleported there, he, like... Hugs Clara, and you know, the new, tw uh, the new doctor doesn't like hugging, so he hugs Clara. But see, what makes it very significant <laughs> is on uh, one of the last episodes, Clara said when, he, he hu when she hugged him that it was a good way to hide your face. So anyway, and he says that again when he hugs her this time, and it's just... <sighs> Feels. And then we find out da uh, Davros's minion shows up, and we find out that he's... A snake man. Which and I his, thought was pretty cool. And that then his clothing cool. is made out of snakes, too, which is really cool but creepy at the same time. And we still haven't seen those Pan's and Labyrinth creatures since. I started to think about something. I had this theory. My theory was that 
Since the doctor met Davros when he was a little boy in this war field, and he didn't save him because of the name Davros, and he recognized him as the guy who created the Daleks, he didn't save him, but he still escaped on his own. And because of that, Davros created the Daleks as a way to get revenge on the doctor, and this whole thing with Gallifrey happened because of that moment with Davros. And if he had just saved him in any way, instead of recognizing his name... We wouldn't have a series. We wouldn't have had a Doctor <laughs> Who series, because Davros wouldn't have created the Daleks, and the Daleks never would have gone to war with Gallifrey. But see... Great summary. Not gonna lie, that was a really good summary. Then, that do you feel <laughs> relieved that that's now explained, finally? Or do you feel that it's now... And it. moments after I said this theory to cute here, my theory was confirmed. Davros, oh, it, it skipped to a cutscene where it showed the doctor leaving as he with the name Davros. I'm just going to keep talking. And Awkward moment when your phone falls. I've had that happen so many times while filming my, filming my haul videos. <sighs> the doctor totally realized that, realizes this and he's ashamed of himself at this point. For what he did. And then he goes with Davros' minion to speak with Davros, and Clara and Missy go with- Can I just add that between the two of us, and between the two years we had been filming on this channel, this is probably the most she had ever spoken. I tend to speak a lot on camera. And I've done this with Harley Baby 2 on this channel, where I end up speaking a lot, and she doesn't speak a lot, and I feel like I'm taking over the spotlight, which I really don't mean to do, because this is a group channel, this is a friend's channel, and yeah, I feel bad with him and then we find out the people that he's been staying with they're they're converted daleks you know with the, the things little... coming out of their foreheads mm -hmm. it's oh so this is actually a pretty intense episode moffat great way to start the season i must right. say it's great i think moffat was the director at the time hey and by the way we're recording on my phone that's why, why it, it fell, fell over, over. Okay, I'm going to keep as level-headed as possible. That's the joke of the century. <laughs> She's going to fail miserably. <laughs> so, it was fine for a little while. Um, we saw Missy singing the intro to I'm Wishing from Snow White. And you know me being the Disney freak I am. Thank you. I just <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, calm down, breathe. <laughs> Me being the Disney freak I am, that... Girl, were you about to grab my boobies? It pissed me off a little because they are playing Doctor Who on Disney XD. There are a lot of Disney references in Doctor Who, though. Lion King, mm -hmm. what else? But anyways, um, the message that the Doctor had... Why would that piss me off, though? If I watched that nowadays, I think that'd pretty be pretty cool. Like, hey, there's a fucking Disney reference in Doctor Who. That's pretty awesome. I don't think they still played on Disney XD, but I wouldn't know because I don't have I don't really watch cable much anymore with his confession was supposed to be for missy but clara did we drop the phone again gave him a reason to come back to fight another day so that's always good um so let's talk about what's not okay the one they were in the dungeon um the gravity they it, realized that something was off about the gravity it didn't seem artificial <clears throat> like it would on a regular spaceship so, Missy opened the hatch, and she was right. She walked outside, and there was solid ground beneath her feet, even though it looked like they were on a spaceship and out in the middle of outer space. So, you know, Doctor's conversing with Davros, and Davros starts throwback Thursday to his old meetings with the Doctor from his first generation to they stopped at his fourth regeneration. So, here's where it gets not okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It just, it fixes. I am so sorry. This is how not okay that is. I think that was her sonic screwdriver, not mine. But I think eventually I got my own, along with the David Tennant sonic screwdriver pen. That um, she broke my sonic. It's okay. Uh, I, fixed. Fixed. Okay, good. The planet they're on. No, it just, is not. Just don't fix. Just, them. The planet they're on is none other than Scaro, the Dalek planet. Moffat, you're dead. Shh, Mandy, shh. And this episode's nearly over. 
So, I think Moff is starting out on a two-part episode. He is starting out on a two-part episode. It Way to ask. start the season. Ha! Are we not patient enough to wait after a two-part opening? I mean, I've... I mean, like, now that we have, like, Hulu and Netflix and all of that, like, having two-parter openings isn't so much of a big deal anymore because the next episode is literally right there for you. But at the same time, like... Then, when, like, I don't think a lot of streaming services were available and the fact they had to record and wait was kind of hard, but I mean, like, even before then, like, there wasn't even such a thing as a DVR, so I can understand the frustration starting out on a two-part episode, but at the same time, I think that really does well in terms of building your season, but then you also have to follow that up with an incredible season. So if you do so well with the first two episodes and all of a sudden you start, like, you know, presenting this image and standard that you have for the season you have to continue that on with the rest of the season so I think maybe in a way it's a good and bad thing to start off with a two-parter as strong as Moffat did for the series so this is how the episode ended with our minds being fucked literally no not really (laughs) Ignore me. I think they already do. <laughs> this is why my name's crazy. And I'm cute. No, you're little mouse. That's why all of you who like me are my little mice. I, I call her little mouse because she looks like a little mouse. And she doesn't think she looks like a mi- little mouse, but she looks like a little fucking mouse. I don't think I look like a mouse anymore. Maybe a big mouse. Probably a rat. <laughs> and she calls you guys her your what? I call them my psychopaths. That should be pretty (laughs) self-explanatory. Because I'm a fucking psychopath. (laughs) Okay, so anyways, here's how Moffat decided to end the episode. My beanie. I'm pretty sure the combination name that we had for them was Little Psychos. Pretty sure. Game off. (laughs) No, put that back on. (laughs) Here's how Moffat decided to end the episode. So, what happened was, um, Missy decided to confront the Daleks. Basically, the Daleks wanted to exterminate the TARDIS. Shocker! It looks like I have a little bit of muscle right now. Keep it, they'll think you're strong. (laughs) So, Missy... At the time, we were like sticks. We were so skinny, but we had no muscle on us. So the fact that she was like, I have muscle, it's like, flex it, just flex it, flex it. (laughs) Said that if they used her, they would not only get the TARDIS, but what what was it you said that they also have? A powerful... uh, Time Lord. Time Lord to teach them how to use it. And either that, or they, they could ex- exterminate her. And what do they do? They exterminate ex- her. Exactly. And then, Clara is stupid enough to try to run, so what do they do? Exterminate, exterminate her. her. And then, they destroy the TARDIS. Sad so, pretty much, this is how Moffat wants to start the season. So, it's a two-part episode. The first episode ends with the Doctor somehow ending up back at the beginning when Davros is is in the hand mines and the Doctor had the choice to save him or not. And the Doctor goes back with an extermination ray. And instead of saving Davros, he... Well, well, we don't know what he did yet because it cut out before he got a chance to act. So next week should be a pretty interesting episode. Yeah. We'll record then, too, whether it just be the two of us together or separate videos. And, yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, show your friends. If you have theories, please tell us. We'd love to hear them. We'd love to hear your theories and be able to talk to you about them. Mm-hmm. And we'd love to maybe piece them into um, a new episode or something that's going on. Yeah. So, um... Send a link to your friends, whatever. Just do it, you know? And thank you. Just just do it, man. (laughs) Thank you for watching, my little mice. Bye, psychopaths. So overall, the video was actually really good. I can't believe how well we did at, like, describing the episode itself. Like, you know, you figure being as young as we are, we wouldn't know too well on how to describe episodes or on how to, like, review content or whatever. But given how close we were to the series and how well we knew the series at that point before watching the new episode, it made sense that, you know, we actually did as well as we did. So, and I'm sorry I didn't talk much during this whole thing. I mean, me personally, again, I haven't watched Doctor Who since they added Clara with Capaldi, so I didn't necessarily like the combination of the two of them. So, 
I'm kind of like listening like, okay, I can kind of make sense of this. Who the hell is Misty? Who the hell is... Who the hell are any of these people? Anyways, uh, we're gonna give this video a solid 8 out of 10. Um, again, just filming wise, obviously we were doing it on my phone at the time, and I think the only phone that was out was the 5. I don't think the 7 or the 8 had released yet, which would make a lot of sense. I don't, I don't even think the 6 had released yet. So anyways, I thank you guys so much for watching this. The original video will be linked in the description box below. Solid 8 out of 10. Good job, good job, younger me. Good job, younger crazy. I really enjoyed it, and looking back on these videos has actually been a lot of fun. So thank you all so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.